Good morning, everyone. Today I have a online auction haul, and this is from the Red Rooster here in Niles, Michigan. And I had a, a wonderful time there. Um, I think it was Thursday night. So the first thing I got was this beautiful dragonware. It's a um, two-part candy dish, I guess you'd call it. And I love to collect um, dragonware. And I've never seen this piece. So I think it's very pretty. There's a mark on the back. And it says, hand-painted, made in Japan. So isn't that a pretty piece? Beautiful. And I believe these are from the 50s and 60s. I'll set that right there for a moment. The next piece I got was this little teapot. Isn't that pretty? And it has a lid. There's no chips or anything. This one is marked Japan, but there's a little mark underneath that. I don't want to take that label off. But there's the back. Very pretty. And then this one I don't call a teapot, but I think it's called a kettle. Wouldn't you call that a kettle? Very nice. The back, the, mac, uh, the mark on this one is a quality GNCO product. The mark on this one. The next one is, uh, I wish I had uh, two of these. This is a salt shaker. It has this little cork, no marks on this one. Very nice. So I'll be looking for uh, the pepper to go with this one. And then I got this little piece. Oh, a water jug, I guess you'd call this, or a pitcher. And just a Japan mark on this one. Gold. Um, Probably 24 karat gold on the rim and on the handle. So there's that one. And then a tiny little saucer. This one has um, quite an elaborate mark on it. And it says uh, hand painted Japan. And it's from the Nico Nico, China. So there's that little piece. And then a bigger saucer. This one has made in Japan. And this one came with a cup. I don't think it matches, but that one's really pretty. This has got some red and turquoise color. And white. The mark is Japan. So that's a cute little piece. Okay, that's all of the dragonware that I have. The total price on eight pieces was five dollars. And then the next piece I have is a ballerina jewelry box. This one was two dollars the inside. Very nice, very clean. It's the back of it. The bottom. I think that's just adorable. These pieces, uh, the candlesticks, I got two of them. Uh, candlesticks. Let's see, I got my sheet here on the side of me. These were $1.50 a piece, but aren't those pretty? And uh, left in China, 
hand painted. And there is the mark on that one. And these, these do have a few little chips in them, but uh, I'm going to alter these so I can cover up the little flowers that uh, are missing a petal. It's no big deal. Another left in piece is this one, beautiful plate. And this was $1.50. And it does have a mark left in on the back. This one was a dollar fifty. You can hang it up that way or this way. Back. But isn't those pretty? Those pretty pink roses. I'm gonna set these aside over here. Uh, I found this piece. I love carnival glass. I've been collecting carnival glass for a long, long time. And this one is probably grape leaves. This one was $1.50. I never, ever find carnival glass for $1.50. There's no chips, nothing. There's not even a scratch on this. It's a beautiful piece. These are tin plates. Let me see. Let's see the price on this one. They were five for a dollar. And they come with recipes. Let's see if you can see that. This one is plum pudding. Uh, Bouche ni Noel. Whatever that is. It must be this thing same one blueberry orange nut bread mm, that sounds good and I got two of those these are all Avon 1982 and there's the back I thought those were cute they'll fit really nice in my kitchen Then, let's see what else do I got. I got, uh, this is a Lefton also, hand painted. It's a picture of the flowers. A very nice shape. The picture was $1.50. Then I have uh, a project coming up, and it's going to be cup and saucers. So I got this cup and this cup. Uh, let me see, made in Japan. There is a mark on this, but it's all smudged. So I don't know who made that one. It's beautiful roses. And then these are saucers. Everything is mixed mixed matched and it doesn't matter what they look like so look for this project coming up and then set these aside I got four of these these were two dollars for the four and they are ice capade um, program booklets. I guess you could buy these when you went to the ice capades. So there's four of them. They range from 1972, I think. 72 to 75. This one is the 75 one. And I'll show you the inside on one of them. I don't want to bore you to death. But real quickly, now probably cut these up. <laughs> Put 
This one's from 72. So that's basically what all these look like. This was nice, a nice purchase for the money. And let's see. There's one little piece I forgot to put in here. I got to go get it. Be right back. Okay, at the auction they have uh, uh, a little thing called the junk lot or the junket lot and I bought one. It was three dollars for the lot and this little man was in there and she said Mayan. I don't know but this one has holes. It goes all the way through the head and a little hole in the bottom. So if you know anything about this piece, let me know. And it's probably made out of clay. But I thought he was cute. He's got a little jug in the back. And other little things that's in this little lot was a Spirit of 76 pin. I think there's two of them here. And a J and a Y. And this is a vintage Hadley gold tone tie clip, 1905 to the 1920s. And that's that one. It's very pretty. And it is marked Hadley on the back. These are uh, oh, kind of like little trading cards, I guess. And there's a Harley. I guess they're Har yeah, Harleys, Harley cards. And then this one. And some vintage Denison gummed reinforcements. I still use these. Old box. This is kind of weird. I have no idea what it is. <laughs> But I like weird stuff. Anybody knows what this is, let me know. And don't tell me it's an evil demon. I'll have to get rid of it. There's that other little pin. And then a, a little adjustable ring. So that was that little lot. Let's see what else did I get here. Oh. Couple more things and then I'll be done with this. These three pieces are cast iron. And I got this one. They're very heavy. This is a coffee grinder. And this one also is a coffee grinder. And a teapot or a kettle. These three pieces were four dollars. Okay, I think I got everything. So thank you for coming in and, and seeing my online auction haul. And I'll leave the link below. She has a Facebook page. Um, but to get to her auction, you have to be a member. Uh, she will approve you. And it's private. The auction is private to uh, cut back on trolls. And I think she might be starting a YouTube channel. So that'll be real nice to uh, be able to go watch her auctions at the YouTube channel. So stay tuned for that. I'll leave a link below. It's the Red Rooster on Facebook. If I forget to leave the link. But anyway... Uh, update on Andrea Stever. She's doing much better. She's still in the hospital. 
So keep thinking of her and praying for her. And I uh, hope she gets better soon and gets to come home soon. All right, guys. Um, that's it for today. I don't know where we're going to be Wednesday. We're still trying to figure that out. So just stay tuned. Check our Facebook pages and we'll let you know there. Um, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.